In this video, you're going to learn how to clone your own voice so you can create voiceovers that sound like you by typing it out. Voice cloning means you can create new voiceovers that sound just like you, fix mistakes in content you've already recorded, or speak an entirely new language sans devoir enregistrer à nouveau. You simply type some text and generate. Before we get started, there's two different voice clones we can create. The first is Instant Voice Clone, or IVC, which gives you a voice clone in seconds from just a minute or two of clean audio. It's fast to create, but may struggle with unique voices or accents. However, Professional voice cloning, or PVC on the other hand, trains a dedicated model using much more of your audio, usually anywhere between 30 minutes to several hours. And this gives you a hyper-realistic, high-fidelity clone that can capture the subtle tone, emotion, and delivery of your voice. And now the PVC takes a few hours to process, but for accuracy and consistency, it's a much better voice clone in the long run. Now, before I show you how to create a voice clone, let's cover a couple of things first. First of all, the quality of the audio you provide is the most important part. And for the best results, ideally you're recording on a professional professional mic setup in a quiet room. And you can even use a pop filter to avoid the plosives in your recordings. And now not everyone has access to this equipment and that's okay because plenty of voice clones have been made without. Just make sure your voice is the only thing you can hear in the recordings. Because background noise and unwanted audio may have an effect on the final result of your voice clone, leading to inaccurate clones or the occasional unwanted audio artifact in your text-to-speech generations. And now that we've covered some of the basics and we'll go into more detail later, let's begin by creating an instant voice clone. And to follow along, you can click the first link down in the description below. In Eleven Labs, to start cloning your voice, you want to click on Voices in the left toolbar. And then we head over to this button right here where it says Create or Clone a Voice. If we click this, you'll notice we have a couple of different options. The first one being Voice Design. But below this, we have Instant Voice Clone and Professional Voice Clone. Let's start with Instant Voice Clone. So if I click Instant Voice Clone, we're now prompted to record or upload some recordings of our voice. And so here, all we have to do, very simple, we just click Record and let's begin. We can actually choose the microphone that we want to use to record the Instant Voice Clone. And so here, I'm going to select Scarlett 2i2, which is the audio interface that's using my Shure SM7B microphone. I can go ahead and click Start. And we have a three second countdown and the Instant Voice Clone is now recording and you can see this with the audio waveforms in the bottom left of this box. For each recording you do for the Instant Voice Clone, you need to record at least 10 seconds and then you can go up to a limit of 30 seconds. And now if I click stop on the first recording, you'll notice we now have this first recording saved right here. Now I can go ahead and do another recording. And while I'm doing this second recording for my instant voice clone, I'm going to explain this quick little box down here below. If you're not recording on a professional microphone or there's a little bit of background noise in your audio recordings, you can actually just tick this box and Eleven Labs will automatically remove background noise from your audio recordings. And so if I just click stop, now I have two audio recordings and you can submit as many as you like until this little green sphere is full. And remember, the more audio recordings you provide, the better the results of the instant voice clone. And before you click next, you can go ahead and preview each of your recordings. And if you're not happy, you can delete them and re-record as many times as you need. Once we're happy, here I have 45 seconds of recording. I'm going to click next. And now I can name my instant voice clone. So here I'm going to say Alec. IVC, short for Alex Instant Voice Clone. Here, we can then add the language that we were speaking in our voice clone because you can create voice clones in multiple different languages. And if you want, if you were creating multiple voice clones, you could even add a label such as the accent. However, here I'm not doing that, so I'm just going to remove this. And then below that, you can also add a quick description just so you can find and remember what the voice clone is. And then here, you just need to confirm that you have the rights and consent to upload and use the voice recordings that you've submitted. So we check that and now we click Save voice. Within a matter of seconds, as you can see, we can now try out the new voice clone. And so you can go and speak with it using the conversational AI agent. You can narrate a full story within the Eleven Lab Studio. But here, just to show you a quick example, I'm going to click generate speech and let's listen to what it sounds like. So here, as you can see, I'm now within the text to speech tool in Eleven Labs. And on the right, we can see that my instant voice clone is selected. And here, I just want to make it clear that the best model to use for voice clones is the Eleven Multilingual V2. We do have Eleven V3 Alpha, but that's a research preview and it means the results you'll get will be less consistent across your generations. And you'll notice that for 11 Multilingual V2, it will be the highest quality and it's even recommended for this specific voice that I've chosen. So we're just going to stick on 11 Multilingual V2. And now let's just hear a silly joke from my professional voice clone. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts.
And so as you can see, we've now got an instant voice clone that sounds like me with just a few clicks. However, you might have noticed that it doesn't quite nail my exact tone, emotion and delivery. And to do this, we want to use a professional voice clone. Professional voice cloning delivers much more accurate and expressive results. And before I show you, let's cover some quick tips on how to make a great professional voice clone. First of all, you need to provide at least 30 minutes of audio, ideally closer to two hours. And if you can, stretch it all the way to three. Remember, the more high quality audio you provide, the better the voice clone. Next, if you can, you want to record in an acoustically treated or dampened room to cut down echo and noise. For example, in front of me, I have some voice panels. Below me, I have a carpet and I have a couple of cushions around the room just to make sure this environment is better for recording. After that, you want to make sure that you're keeping the recording noise free. So you want no background music, no background sounds or any other voices that interfere with the recordings that you are using. You want to also try and use some professional recording gear, ideally a professional mic like the Shure SM7B running through an XLR to an audio interface. And remember, when using a professional mic, especially if you're recording quite close, it is a good idea to use a pop filter to avoid the plosives into the microphone. And when it comes to recording, you also want to control the volume and you want to aim for steady levels anywhere between minus 23 and minus 18 decibels RMS, peaking at around minus 3 dB. And before actually submitting your audio recordings, you could do some processing on it to get the exact sound that you like. For example, you could use a parametric equalizer to reduce some of the low end if you think your voice is sounding too boomy. Doing this will mean you'll never have to edit the audio of your professional voice clone because it will always sound exactly how you want it to. And with that being said, let me show you how to create your professional voice clone. Back in Eleven Labs, we just want to click on voices and then we click on the same button, create or clone a voice. And this time we just go to professional voice clone. Here we want to click on create a new voice clone and we'll be prompted with a bunch of tips on how to make a great professional voice clone, which are the tips that I just walked you through, but feel free to go through all of these in detail to make sure that you capture the best possible recordings for your professional voice clone. And there's even another video here by James, which is a great watch too. If we click create a new voice clone, we're now taken into the professional voice clone maker. And here, the very first thing we can do is we can name our voice. So this time I'm just going to call it Alex professional voice clone. We can select the language, add the description, the accent, it's the same as the instant voice clone. And you'll notice that on the right here, the layout is a little bit different to the instant voice clone layout. Here, we can click this button, go ahead and upload some samples, or again, we can record directly into Eleven Labs. And now, if I record directly into Eleven Labs, you'll notice that we can actually choose between scripts in different languages or even upload our own script. So if I go to English, I could choose a conversational script. And then when I start recording, I can read through this entire script and as you can see, there's a lot here because remember, we need some long recordings. Now, when you click on start recording, each recording needs to be at least 30 seconds. But again, you can do as many as you like. Let me show you what it looks like when you upload your own samples. So if I click on upload samples, I can select some audio that I've already prepared for my voice clone and I just click open. And while this is uploading and processing at the top here, you can see that we have some different thresholds for the ideal amount of audio that we need to create a good professional voice clone. I've just uploaded 30 minutes and 30 seconds of pre-processed audio for my voice clone and we've hit the good threshold. So ideally, I would want to upload at least another hour or two to get some really, really good results. And so I'm going to upload the final two files that I prepared for this professional voice clone. And then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click next on the bottom right. And in case you're interrupted during the creation of your professional voice clone, everything is automatically saved so you can leave and come back later. And so now you can see that I've uploaded one hour and 31 minutes of audio for this professional voice clone. And for the purpose of this tutorial, that will do. And before you submit the recordings, just by clicking next, you'll notice that you've got a few different options here on the right. Again, you can preview the audio that you've uploaded or just recorded. You can also delete them and you can also download them if you were recording directly into Eleven Labs. Sometimes it's nice to have those recordings as a backup in case you want to create another professional voice clone later. And we also have a few audio settings for each file. You'll notice that I can actually trim the audio. So let's say I upload an audio file, but I know I didn't want the second half of it. I could go ahead and do that. And then if there were multiple speakers within that audio, so let's say you were using audio from a podcast, you could actually separate the speakers into 
two different audio files so you only have your own voice and not the other person from within that podcast and then if there was a little bit of background noise in that recording again you can toggle this on to remove the background noise and clean the audio files using 11 labs so i'm not going to do any of this because i've already done pre-processing on my audio files and now all i have to do is click next and here we have one final step before we can begin creating our professional voice clone and that is verifying the voice and this is essentially an extra security step just to make sure you have the rights and the consent to professionally clone this voice curiosity sparks the joy of discovery in every child and once that's done, as you can see, the professional voice clone is now being prepared. And this can take anywhere between two to six hours. On average, I tend to find it takes around three hours, but this just depends on how many people are also creating professional voice clones and how long the queue is. And once it's created, you'll be able to use it with text-to-speech, speech-to-speech, -to -speech, conversational AI, speak other languages, and any of the AI voice tools within 11 Labs. And so here's a quick preview of my professional voice clone. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And so now that you have a professional voice clone, if you miss a line in a video, you can just type it out and swap it out without having to re-record. You could also add calls to actions to your video's end screens, again, just by typing. You could even generate hundreds of hook variations for your trial reels on Instagram, so you can A-B test and then maintain voice consistency across all of your videos, even while you're on holiday. And the creative possibilities with your professional voice clone are pretty much endless. If you have any questions about creating your own voice clone, drop a comment in the comment section down below. And if you wanna see more videos about AI audio and content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks for watching.